We're back now at 842 with our special series, Getting to the Heart of Christmas. We teamed with Walmart to brighten the holiday season for some very special people. NBC's Craig Melvin is here with more. Hey, Craig. Hey, good morning to you guys. There's devastating images from the Colorado floods this past September were among the most heart-wrenching of the year. But this morning, we want to bring you some new images from the flood zone. An incredible group of people going above and beyond to help one of their own. There are few things more peaceful than the moments after a fresh snowfall. John Pelishu has lived here in Left Hand Canyon, Colorado for 25 years. It's moments like these he lives for, but they are also moments he almost didn't live to see. September brought heavy rains to Colorado. Towns were flooded, roads washed away, then landslides, homes destroyed, lives lost. It was a devastation many Coloradans had never seen. But John Pelishu knew it too well. That's because John is a rescue worker. For 43 years, he's been part of rescue teams around the country. Some say it's remarkable how often this father of two has been at the right place at the right time. It's just whether you as an individual choose to get involved. And I just don't choose to get involved. But what happened to John in the early morning hours of September 16th was not a choice he would have ever made. You know, I prepared for emergencies of every scope for my entire life. I never, never could have pictured a landslide here. That evening, as the soaking rains continued, John went into his backyard to inspect the hillside behind his home and noticed water gathering. I was trying to process what was happening. The ground started to rumble. Before I even turned around, I knew what it was. And I saw a measured 20-foot deep wall of black. Um, and you could see 80-foot long trees poking out of it and boulders the size of cars. John was swept away in a giant landslide of debris through his home and down the mountain. I was definitely panicked to, to, to actually meet your end and know it's coming. Caught in the branches of a tree for hours as the floodwaters roared below him, broken, battered, and barely conscious, John remembered his police radio. And then, one last barely audible recording. This will be my last transmission. Would you please tell my children I love them? Within moments, John's tree snapped. But miraculously, he survived. His home and belongings, sadly, did not. Buried under several feet of mud, John needed help. And then, that help literally walked into his life. I heard a racket coming up the canyon. And, and as they got closer, I mean, they were jovial. I mean, there's no solemnness. It was just like they were healthy people marching up the canyon. The mudslingers are a group of volunteers from Boulder, organized through a of mouth with a singular task, bring help to whomever, wherever, and however. We didn't know what we were doing at all. None of us do this for a living. But I didn't stop to worry about the how. None of us did. We just figured it out as we went. John says the mudslingers gave him something he never thought he would find again, hope. And on this day, we wanted to give something back to the mudslingers, too. So big hand, first of all, for the mudslingers. And tis this season to recognize uh, extraordinary groups doing extraordinary things. We are giving you $10,000 in Walmart gift cards to help you continue helping others. So that's... <laughs> but what John didn't know is we had a surprise for him, too. Here's the thing, though. You're an amazing guy. You have spent uh, the better part of your life doing the same thing with these guys. So... We wanted to help you uh, get back into the business of helping others as well. Pull back the curtain! With some guidance from his beloved daughter, Kelsey, Walmart put together much of what John lost. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. This, this is amazing. Um, I don't know how to say thank you. You just said it. Yeah, but it's, more, it's so much more than a thank you. These volunteers changed my life, and, and they're volunteers. And they risked their life to save me. And, um, and I'll be thankful forever for you guys. Thank you so very much. Thank you. It's pretty obvious John Pelleschi is an amazing guy, but what's even more amazing is after we reveal those Walmart surprises, 
He asked if it would be okay if he donated most of the items to folks in even greater need. Wow. Yeah, wow. John Pellish. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. And groups like the Mudslingers, there's yeah. Team Rubicon, there are others yeah. like these who rush into these disaster areas. They don't ask Thank any God. questions, they're just there to help. Hats off to them. And Incredible. they meet on social media. They yeah. organize themselves on, you know, Facebook and things like yeah. that. No badges, no uniforms. It's just a good heart. Yeah, yeah. just a good Amazing heart. Amazing work. A great holiday well story. Done. Craig Melvin, thanks for bringing Thank it to Merry us. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Come